DMEC in Complicated Eyes is a little bit of a passion project for me. And one of these categories of complicated eyes is eyes that have iris problems. And we're talking about eyes that are aneuritic or have iris trauma. A neglected area of iris problem DMEC eyes is eyes with artificial irises. There's almost nothing written or described about DMEC in eyes with an artificial iris. Relatively recently, we did one of these cases, and I thought just to show the video to show you how simple and straightforward these cases can really be. This is an eye that has had a tube shunt and an artificial iris placed for aneuridia secondary to ice syndrome. And you can see this rudimentary iris stump there in the periphery. We've just injected the DMAT graft. Now we're unfolding the graft on top of this artificial iris. So with a jet to deepen the chamber and just a few taps on the corneal surface, you'll notice the graft just starts to open right away. This is a cannula used through the main wound to verify the Motsuro sign, which confirms that the graft is right side up. And just a little poke over helps to initiate the unfolding process. Then with a few little Dirazomer taps on the surface of the cornea, the graft is unfolded the rest of the way. I'm deepening the chamber here just with BSS and applying a few little last taps to the corneal surface to iron out these lingering folds. And you'll see in the span of basically 30 seconds, this eye, this graft unfolding proceeds just like any other. We managed to unfold the graft on top of the artificial iris, and now we're ready to lift it up to the posterior corneal surface atop an air bubble. You'll notice even though this is a weird indication, ice syndrome with aneuridia and an artificial iris placed, still the operation proceeds completely straightforwardly and uneventfully using a large diameter graft. And I think there are a few learning points that can be taken away from this case. Uh, the first is just a background of complexity does not mean that you have to switch to DSEC instead of DMEC. Just because the eye has sort of a complicated provenance does not mean you need to reflexively gut check back to a, a more antiquated version of the operation. The next thing is that I think that people worry when doing DMEC in an eye with an artificial iris that you'll have the graft dislocate back into the posterior segment. You'll notice that there was never any risk of that during this operation. The iris diaphragm is completely stable if you have an artificial iris, and there's never any really concern that you're gonna lose the graft into the back of the eye. Everything behaves just exactly like a normal DMEC surgery would. The last thing is that even though these are complicated eyes that have tube shunts, and this particular case was also a post vitrectomy, you would think that you would have a deep anterior chamber as a result of all of these things being placed. But you'll perhaps notice here that there was never any tendency towards the chamber to be excessively deep. In fact, it was quite the opposite. There was a shallow chamber. These eyes that have tube shunts, often you'll find the chamber is shallow because they've developed this glaucoma because of anterior synechia. And in this particular case, this was an artificial iris which was Gore-Tex sutured to the wall of the eye. All of this stuff up in the front part of the eye conduces towards a shallow chamber. The shallow chamber provides sort of a cramped confines for graft unfolding. As a result, usually you have excellent apposition between the back of the cornea and the anterior surface of the artificial iris diaphragm. Therefore, graft unfolding is usually quite easy because you get so much pinning, so much compression between these two surfaces you don't have the graft spinning around in the anterior chamber. So what I found is that demechanized with artificial irises is much the same as any old normal demech, except the operation is easier because you have more compression between the anterior surface of the iris and the posterior surface of the cornea. If you're worried about endothelial damage because of touching the back surface of the iris, I will tell you that we have not observed that in our own case. The endothelial morphology of these eyes seem to be excellent and these patients do well. So if you're looking for an excuse not to do DMEC in eyes with an artificial iris, you won't find one. In fact, you'll find quite the opposite. That the operation is probably as easy or easier than DMEC in a straightforward case of Fuchs dystrophy.